Part 1 of this video will cover the basics of your file storage area. This part of your account acts as an online repository for all the files you have used or will use in your portfolio. To add a file, click the button Add File and select the type. You have three options. Upload a new file from your computer, link to an external file or website by providing the URL, or upload a new zipped website. Make your selection and click Next. Select the file to upload using the Browse button. Then give your file a friendly name. This is the name FolioTech will use for your file, so make sure it is descriptive. If you would like to upload more than one file, click the link Upload Another File. When you have all of your files selected, click OK. The edit link next to your file will allow you to edit the name of your file as well as upload a replacement file if needed. The details link will provide various details regarding your file. If you need to remove any files, simply click on the checkbox for the file and click Remove Selected Files. FolioTech will not allow you to remove any files which are being used in your assessment portfolio. In that case, you would need to first remove the file from your assessment portfolio, then remove the file from the file storage area. To export all of your files to your desktop, click the button Export All to Zip. If you are getting low on your file storage space, click the link Manage Your File Storage. Here you can either purchase additional space or learn how to conserve existing space. This concludes part one of the video. Part two of this video will address the resources and evaluations areas of your FolioTech account. You can access your resources by clicking the resources link in the assessment menu. This area will store any resources that your program provides for you. Simply click on the name of the resource to view it. To access the evaluations that have been scheduled for you, click on the Evaluations link from the Assessment menu. The current tab will contain evaluations that have not yet been completed. If your school requires you to submit your portfolio for evaluation, you will see a red Submit My Portfolio link next to the name of the evaluation. If you do not have this link, it means that your portfolio will be automatically submitted when the evaluation is due. Once an evaluation has been scored, the scores must be published to you by the Portfolio Administrator. These completed evaluations can be accessed by clicking on the Completed tab. To view your scores, click on the name of the evaluation. To see the details of each unit along with any comments that were left, click on the name of the unit. If you do not see any completed evaluations and you feel this is an error, please contact your portfolio administrator so he or she can publish the results to you. As always, if you need additional assistance, click the help link in the top right corner to receive instructions on all aspects of your account. This concludes part two of the video.